Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to do a tutorial on JavaScript classes. Alright so as I have been promising I'm going to do a tutorial on um, how to build a portfolio website with React. I've been learning it you know and uh, <laughs> it's just amazing and one of the things that I notice is that React is based upon a lot of classes from uh, JavaScript ES6 and how they extend the classes and everything. So this first series of videos that I'm going to do, I'm just going to try to explain how um, JavaScript classes work and how object-oriented uh, programming works with JavaScript. So I'm just going to do a series of short videos explaining this so then we can just like jump on the React project and, and you guys can understand it much better. All right, so first of all, I'm going to start in here with a completely empty um, index.html file. I'm referencing, referencing my main.js, okay? And if I want to open it, just like to preview what's going on, I'm going to open it in here on my browser. As you can see, there is nothing. I'm going to play around. Most likely, I'm going to press F12, and I'm going to play around with my console in here, okay, with the developer tools. So first of all, let's start with uh, writing down a class in JavaScript. So I'm going to start in here with class and I'm going to put class human. OK, and, and then this is how we declare a class. The name of the class ha has to be initialized with a capital letter. OK, and I'm going to talk in here quickly the main difference like between a class and an object. So a class, basically, imagine that you want to build a house. To build a house, you need to have a blueprint, you know, like, like a paper where you have like all the properties of the house. Um, how many rooms does the house have? Um, how many windows? How many doors? What color is the, is the walls? Uh, all these kind of things. So a class is like a blueprint to build a house where you have all these kind of properties, okay? So I'm going to put in here um, uh, initialize um, initialize um, a class, okay? And then this is the class. And then when you pass when you pass from the actually blueprint, the paper that you have all these properties, ah, and I forgot to mention there is also something called methods. Methods are like the functions of the class. So what is what is like a method? If you are if you are talking about, for example, a, a blueprint of building a house where you have like all these properties, like I mentioned, how many rooms, how many bathrooms, what's the color of the walls, uh, what's the height of the house, all of these can be properties. And methods are like actions that the house can do. For example, opening a door can be an action or closing the window can be another action. So things like this. So after you initialize the class, which will cover all of these properties and, um, and methods, we can actually then build the, actually, the actual house, okay? And when, when I say building a house, this is when I say starting the object, okay? Initializing the, the object. So in, I'm gonna put in here, create, instance of this is called the instance of the class okay so if i'm going to put something in here like new no i'm going to put in here const because i want it to be a constant constant and i'm going to call it uh, species is going to be equals to new uh, human okay and there you go so in here, this is our class, okay, where we're going to put all our properties and methods. And in here, this is when you actually created the object. And this object called species is going to hold all the properties and methods from this class, okay? So let's, let's do a quick example in here. So whenever you are creating a class, you need to create a special method from JavaScript. The name is constructor, okay? And inside of this constructor, 
it means that whenever you initialize this class, these properties, they will be straight. They will be set up straight away, okay? So in here, you can give it, for example, let's say a human has, for example, two arms. So I'm going to put in here this dot uh, number, or I can just put arms, okay? This dot arms equals to two. All right. And now I'm going to put another property, for example, this dot head, okay, equals to one. All right. So usually a human, this is the properties. We have one head, two arms, and I'm giving this to my class of human. So this is called my properties, okay? And now, when I'm initializing this species, they will inherit all of these things, okay? So if I'm going in here and I'm going to do console.log, and I'm going to put species dot, for example, arms, okay? I'm actually going to put some text. I'm going to put something in here like uh, the human has... And then I'm going to put a space, a plus, and then this is the number that is going to come in here. And then I'm going to put another plus concatenating and I'm going to put in here a space arms. OK, so if I refresh my page now, the human has two arms. So this two is coming from here, species dot arms. You see how this object in here is inheriting all the properties that we have in our class. OK, so this is basically how you can put something, um, how you can create some properties for an object. OK, for a class, sorry. Now I can actually put something in here inside of this constructor as an argument, as a parameter, sorry, as a parameter. So I could put something like this name as a parameter and then I'm going to put in here like this dot for example my name equals to name to whatever we put in here on this parameter so now when I initialize my const species is going to be equal to new human I have to go in here and put something like this uh, let's see, I'm going to put John. OK, I put it as a string. So now I can do console dot log. The human name is and then space. I'm going to put a plus to concatenate with the variable and I'm going to do species dot and then my name, OK, my name. Um, and that should be it. If I refresh now, the human name is John, OK? So we covered in here now uh, how uh, properties work. So as we can see, whenever we initialize any new object, any new instance of the class, that's how we say it, we can actually inherit all the properties from the class and we can give it in here like uh, any any parameters that we can pass in here. I can actually put something like this as well. If I want to put another one, I could put, for example, age and then I'm going to put in here this dot uh, my age and I'm going to put equals to age. OK. Now, when I initialize this, I actually have to put a comma and let's say that I want John to be 40. OK, I'm going to do another console.log, console.log, and I'm going to put in here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put a species dot name, which is going to be the name. And then I'm going to put a plus and then another string. John is. And then I'm going to put a space, another concatenation, and I'm, I'm going to put the age in here. 
So is, I'm going to put species dot uh, my age, sorry, my age. And I'm going to put a plus and I'm going to put another string and I'm going to put years old. Okay. Let's refresh the page and uh, undefined is 40 years old. Okay. Let's see what I did wrong. Ah, because this is not species.name, it should be species.myName. Something that I didn't cover in here quickly, let, let me just say, whenever I'm putting these.arms or these.add, I'm re referencing to the class human that we are creating in here, okay? So this actually refers to the class where I am at the moment. That's why when I'm creating constant species is going to be equals to a new human. And then in here now, if I put species dot, for example, my name is going to grab whatever values we put in here. OK. So if I refresh now, now it says John is 40 years old. OK, that's perfect. Let's. Just quickly, quickly, if I'm going to create a const, uh, I'm going to put species2, for example, it's going to be equals to new, um, actually, I could, I could call this like person, okay, const person equals to a new human, uh, and I'm going to put in here, for example, um, uh, Laura, Laura, and I'm going to put in here, um, let's say she is uh, 50 years old. Okay, so if I'm going in here now and I just remove this species and I'm going to put instead person. Okay, person and person. Okay, because this is the new instance of the class, the new object that we create, when I refresh the page, it says, oops, uh, person, let me put again, person, I failed this, uh, let's refresh, and it says, the human has two arms, the human name is Laura, Laura is 50 years old, okay? And uh, that's it. That's it for this video, guys. It's just a quick video. I'm next next video. I'm going to actually talk about the methods, like the actions that the class can have. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. Make sure that you watch all of these small videos that I'm going to do because you need to understand it better when I'm going to start building the the portfolio website with React. OK, so I'm going to mention you all the time to come in here and just uh, check this these uh, tutorials from the beginning, all right? So I'll see you in the next video.